hello friends welcome back to my channel welcome if you were new and welcome back to vlogmas today um is just playing it by ear <laughs> today ryan was supposed to work and he is sick and he never calls off so he had to do that today because he is super sick from up here and then i took emily to the doctor and she does have an ear infection but no flu and no covid and then they went ahead and i said can you just check my ears because right now where we live it is like a three hour wait at our urgent care which is a terrible uh, it's a terrible option anyway i'm just not even going to go into that <laughs> for when the kids were sick but i try to avoid like um going to our hospital that's local here and avoid going to our urgent care because i just have nightmare experiences with them so anyway um so i took her to her pedi her pediatrician was booked so i had to take um all these areas are booked right now because everybody's sick with the flu and things like that so i had to take her to like one of their branches so anyway I had them check my ears just to, out of courtesy. They did, and they said, I've got an ear infection. So I actually still had the amoxicillin from Jace Medical, so I'm gonna start that. Emily's gonna start amoxicillin. And then we ran in to get some more stuff to drink, and I went ahead and picked up a few things that were on sale at Kroger. So I'm gonna share this little miniature haul with you guys, and that might be all for the video. I don't know, if I throw something else in here, I will do that, but I just wanted to share something with you guys to keep it on like, you know, point for daily videos. But appreciate you guys, and I'll see you at the end. So we went in Kroger because it was right beside CVS, which is our pharmacy, and we actually went for just some, um, drinks and so these were um i hadn't seen like they've changed their packaging make it look better um these were 3.99 each so we got three different things we got some ginger ale some lemon lime and then some generic Dr. pepper um we just checked out the meat they did have a lot of meat specials and that meat that i was looking for that was like the taco like ground meat diced up meat um they had it they had a ton of meat on sale but nothing that I needed, um, and it was starting to brown on a lot of the meat, and I just didn't trust it. They even had chicken wings, but it still just didn't look that fresh. I didn't buy any of it. There were stacks of it, um, but I did buy a turkey breast because this was 99% fat free, and they did have a ton of this, so I did leave for others, <laughs> but I just picked up two because I really didn't need any more than that, so I picked up two of these packs just while they had them. It was an awesome deal, and then... I picked this up um i just wanted to see what this was because it looked healthy orange grapefruit ginger lemon all this fun stuff it's a dollar 41 but i thought i'd try it suja only had one of these which i can't even imagine why they had one of these i can see why it was 66 cents but you guys i drank this because i've been needing to get my greens in and this had like cucumber celery grapefruit lettuce chard i mean kale spinach and it tasted so no i don't want to repeat that again this was terrible it actually had a tomatoey taste to it which is really weird because it was all green vegetables but this should have been free um i got these and the only reason i picked these up because these have more sugar in them but they're supposed to be like all natural these were 99 cents on sale they had a dollar something they were 99 cents on sale and then on each one of these specific containers they had a 75 percent off or 75 cents off one coupon so i thought why not that's cheap so we picked all of these up just to even if i don't eat them the kids will eat these because those are just a heck of a deal and then they also had stickers on all of these for two dollars off so these were 4.69 which is what i'd buy anyway i love these um so these had two dollars off so just brought them down to 269 each so i picked these up it was for all three of these our shelves are wiped clean of children's tylenol and ibuprofen so this is what i was able to find with some capsules um which was wasn't a good price at all so it was like 549 there then this i got last week i didn't need any more of this but i really liked this kind and it was $1.50 on the clearance, so I picked that up while we were there just because they still had some in stock. Now, they did have the other ones put in the wrong place for, for like $4, but you just have to pay attention to what you're picking up because if you weren't paying attention, you'd pick this up and or you would 
why or walk right past it and think it's four sixty nine, but it's not. It was only a dollar fifty. They had one box of these left put in the wrong place, but I knew since I'd already bought some before that it was this specific one. And if you're ever in doubt and you need to check that, um, there are the labels on the shelves and they have the barcodes and all you gotta do is check those last numbers and match them up. So they had the wrong ones in the place and these were the ones that were on sale. And since Tanner found them, like I told you guys, he probably would, <laughs> he ate them all. So they were gone. So I got some more because I only had one more box for $1.92. Emily wanted some popsicles, so I picked those up. And really, that's all we got. This was like $46, I think. But honestly, these were $12. Oh, $44. These were $12. And then the meat, you know, even on sale, is $12 for that. So not terrible. I mean, got a lot of yogurt on sale, so... There is that little rando haul. Okay guys, gonna make some elderberry syrup. Never done this before, um, but super basic. My friend Kayla gave me some of these. Um, actually, when the kit, like when Ryan and them had COVID, I just never had the honey. So today we're gonna make it. Woo, that's strong. So hopefully this doesn't burn. I, this is non-stick, but you know, you take a cup of elderberries. Well, I think that's just, yep. Hopefully I don't ruin this. I'm just gonna use up what's in here. Cause I'll be putting this in a jar anyway. I'll just wash that out. So we'll take a cup of elderberries. Then we'll take three cups of water. One. Two. And three cups of water. Then we're gonna take a teaspoon of cinnamon. So there's the cinnamon. Just gonna actually measure this so we're doing it the right way for the most part. Oh yeah, goodness gracious. That wasn't right. So this is a half a teaspoon I have here because I lost my teaspoon. So half a teaspoon, or one teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, then we need a fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then we're gonna add that in, and then we need um, a half a teaspoon of whole or ground cloves. I do not have cloves at all. So in place of it, if you have all spice, you can use all spice in place of um, the ground cloves, or you can use nutmeg. So we'll just double up on nutmeg. We'll use a half a teaspoon and a fourth a teaspoon. And then, we need a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. I've got some fresh ginger, so I'll get that out in just a second. And we need two thirds a cup of apple cider vinegar. I always keep this on hand. Um, I haven't been drinking it lately, but I used to. I usually drink this um, just straight at night. So we're gonna add two thirds a cup of this. This is a third a cup here. So we'll just add two of these. This is such a powerful like thing. It's not like the best tasting, but at least there's a little bit of an apple flavor. What is going on? Oh, this, the mother or the seed or whatever got stuck. Okay. So we've got a two thirds a cup of that. We're also going to need a cup of honey, but not until we're done. Let me get the ginger because I don't have any like fresh ginger. I mean, I don't have any ginger ground up. So I keep this in the freezer because you guys gave me that tip that time. I've got a ton of that in the freezer because I rarely use it. I've got this little thing I got at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna like uh, put some of that, what I think would be the right amount. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm not like one of these super all natural people that makes home remedies. I do have a lot of friends that do that kind of stuff. So they would know better than me. I do like ginger. When we get sushi and stuff at the restaurants, I love the taste of ginger. So that looks good. Sorry guys, Woo. that's strong. So then we're just gonna give that a swirl. I'm not gonna dirty anything up. I'm just gonna use what I already have. Just give this elderberry concoction. Woo, that's a strong smell. I will tell you that because that apple cider vinegar is so overpowering. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna put our lid on and we're gonna put on high pressure for seven minutes. And when it's up, we're gonna do a quick release and take the lid off. And then we will turn it to the saute function and simmer until the liquid is reduced by half. It takes it about 15 to 20 minutes. 
you want to keep an eye on it because you don't want to like completely lose all the liquid. And once it's reduced by half, we'll turn that off and we'll add in, um, we'll strain the liquid into a bowl and let it cool and then we'll add the honey in. Lastly. So, seven minutes. And then we'll come back to this. Okay. We're going to turn this off. I've let it reduce down to half. So we're going to hit cancel. And then we're going to strain this. So we can get this uh, juice out of here. And then we're going to, um, let me get this into a jar, I guess. I don't have any big jars. I don't think I do. So I have, a, I have this jar I've washed. So we will strain this. I have a strainer. We will strain this out. Let's just put this into a bowl. Put this in a bowl. All those elderberries. Make sure we're getting all the juice. We're just gonna strain. Ooh, that's hot. So I strain all of that. That is the juice from the berries. That is your like that you'll throw that away. So now we're going to add in the honey. Okay, so actually I'm going to let this cool before we add the honey. And then we're going to add a cup of honey and this will store in your fridge for three months. So I'm going to let that cool because it is super hot right now. We'll come back. Okay, now I'm going to add in the honey. Ah. It's been sitting and it's cooled. At all. Okay guys, there is an entire thing of elderberry syrup. We're going to put the lid on this. And we will put this in the fridge and it stores, like I said, for three months according to the directions on Pinterest that I found. Um, but this stuff is so expensive if you were to buy this in the store to like you, to buy the little things to drink or the gummies. You go out and go through this so much. So there you go guys. Easy recipe. And usually you can find elderberries online. Okay friends, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it gave you some like <laughs> shopping motivation just wanted to throw that little haul in there and give you guys that elderberry syrup recipe since sickness is just going around everywhere um, we keep that in our fridge and i thought you guys might find that useful i know a few of you wanted that recipe but i will see you in the next one love you guys bye <music>